All right, so when we bought this generator, already noticing the first problem. It only has one, one of these 120 volt regular looking outlets. And I only can plug so many things into that. And since it's only 20 amps, I can't run that much off that. But they also gave me all these crazy looking ones. But what they gave me here is all these plugs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this, which is one of the ones you have to push in like that and then twist, twist lock. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can wire that to like a splitter for the regular outlet here. All right, so first thing to do is just find some kind of good heavy duty three way like this here. And then go ahead and cut off the tail end like that. And then you're gonna see you have the wires exposed in there. Obviously make sure you don't have it plugged in while you do this, but I don't even think I need to say that. You guys aren't that dumb. Um, so now I'm just carefully gonna remove the casing from about an inch away. So I'll have all these three wires to work with here. So when I go to cut this, um, what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna use the hacksaw here. And do about an inch and I'm just gonna cut a little bit into it all the way around because I don't want to cut into the wires underneath at all because then if they touch it could short circuit that's why they put these protective things on here the protective yellow rubber is so you don't cut through this accidentally Cut one of the wires underneath. So now I'm just gonna chisel away at all of this until I get to the three wires. All right, now I got it cut away all the way around, so I should just be able to pull this right off. Okay, now we have our three wires exposed. And the reason why we exposed our three wires like that is we're gonna take this head, the male side here, we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna be able to attach those to the inside of these prongs. So I'm just gonna take my wire strippers here and on the wire strippers, it says the gauge. So I'm gonna find gauge, I think this is 12, but I'm gonna start with 10 because I don't wanna cut into the wire and it seems a little bit thick. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of them. You don't want to pull the copper and then just slide these right off like that. Twist them around a couple times and it should be good. Since we have this back side though, we have to get all of these through here first. If we can, just push them through. It's like a little rubber gasket get those through there and that's why we had to cut off the yellow part because obviously we can't really fit the yellow part through there so then we have that right and now all these will come out of here and we're gonna have to fit the yellow part through it looks like i don't know if we're able to though um, got the yellow part through all right good i did not think i was gonna be able to do that but i did so Twist all these up again. Fix them up. All right. So white goes in the white and it goes between the outside, at least on this model, the outside and the little gate. You stick it all the way in and then tighten the set screw here. Not too tight, but to make sure it has a good connection just till it's nice and tight. All right, and then we'll do the green wire and the one that says green. Try to keep these untwisted a little bit. Tighten that up. And finally, the black wire and the unlabeled one. Perfect. 
now that we have all those in there, give it a little pull test to make sure we have a good connection. And then we can slide the back of this housing up onto it. And we gotta line the screws up again with the top here. Oh, it actually has a little twisty thing. Perfect. And then we'll screw the top back on. Alrighty, now we have a twist lock going to regular household outlets that I could plug extension cords into because none of our extension cords have that. So let's go plug it in and see if it works. So we're at the generator. So we want to find the plug here that says 120 volts, 30 amps. So it's the same voltage as the regular household one. That's why we were able to make this adapter. So you just stick it in, it takes a little bit of force and then just twist it just a little bit. And then you have your three plugs coming out of it. And then I have a power saw here we can try it with. Plug this in. Okay. Make sure this is off. Let's go ahead and close the choke. And start it up. 